Hello guys, this is Azul X speaking. Um, this video is about uh, this week's test server action. This is uh, the first video of mine, so please excuse if there are some faults and mistakes. I'll do my very best. Um, yeah, this week's issue of test server of War Robots. Um, there are two main topics. Um, first of all, the new map. Perhaps you have uh, noticed that there will be a new map soon, which uh, was on last test server sessions just in rough shape, just to see what it's gonna be, what it's gonna be like. Um, yeah, this time I hope we'll have the, <laughs> we'll be lucky and play on it uh, immediately. Um, it's in shape. I've played some games there before. It's really looking cool, um, but you'll see soon. I hope. Um, the other main topic is uh, a rebalance of the Rogatka. Um, Rogatka, as you should know, is a medium bot with two medium weapon slots. Um, he got uh, stronger, faster, uh, and his ability, uh, uh, or better, the, the cooldown of its uh, jumping ability, has been set to 7 seconds on this uh, test server today. Um, and besides these two major topics, there are some smaller things that could be changed in future. Um, one of it is uh, the, the design of the Schütze. The Schütze, as you know, uh, this, this small robot um, with, the, with one uh, heavy weapon slot on top. Yeah, looked, or actually it looks like, uh, yeah, uh, let me say, like an office printer at the moment. Um, this design uh, has been rebalanced on this server, uh, test server session and uh, on this test server session you can see some new skins for Deathrae, Griffin, Leo, Vityas and Rogatka. So let's do these uh, smaller items first uh, and see what it looks like. So yeah, let's go to the shop. Here we have the Destria in its normal skin um, this has been improved before so he's way looking better than he did once but let's see what the the, uh, the paint job the skin can do wow this is pretty cool uh, black ground with a blue yellow and white stripes on it here we have pixonic and the panda um, really looks cool reminds me some kind of tron uh, you know or also um, Star Wars, um, yeah, the the blue color for the good and the red color for the bad guys. So yeah, looks pretty cool. Looks pretty nice. Yeah, I like it. So this was the new skin for Destria. Um, next spot uh, in shop is uh, the Schütze. Yeah, as I said, he was very yeah. Uh, like a, a block on, on legs with just uh, some round edges uh, at the front and the back. Now he's looking much, yeah, much more like the others do, more futuristic um, with these two spoilers on the back side and this, yeah, diffusers or what else, whatever this, this should be. Yeah, looks pretty good, um, uh, way better than it looked before. I hope they'll take this uh, change into the the gaming app. Yeah, next one is the Witches. Uh, let's see what the skin is like for for it. Oh, also pretty cool. Uh, standard, we have this um, normal green, yeah, camouflage color, uh, olive green, and the new skin is is yeah, mixture of yellow and and gold with some dragon skin on the knees and this uh, red shoulder thing. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Mm, I like it. Uh, it's not that good um, as the one from the Destria, but uh, still pretty good. Uh, next spot on our list is the Rogatka. Let's see what this new skin is like. It's called Anarchy. Oh, uh, yeah. Oof. Yeah. 
what can we say? It's a dark blue color on the on ground color with uh, red dots here and there on the forehead, a red dot uh, on the back, on the yeah. I guess these are the jumping nozzles or something like that. And uh, yeah, a bonehead tattoo on the, on the forehead, and uh, here another one. Yeah, yes, yeah, seems yeah. I don't like it. To say in, in in simple words, I don't like it. It's too simple. Yeah, it's just some added some color and some some uh, tattoos. Some yeah, it's too simple. Yeah, not ridiculous, but too simple. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't know what you think about it, but yeah, for me, too simple. Then we have the Leo, which has also no new skin. Let's see what it's like. It's called Koi. Yeah, it's the same, nearly the same ground color, blue with some waves on it. Yeah, and oh yeah, we have here a Koi. Looks like a body tattoo, body painting. Um, yeah, of a Koi. It's traditional Chinese body art. Yeah, but it doesn't fit the Leo. Yeah. You could do much better with this uh, this shape of the the body of the Leo, but just a tattoo on the forehead showing some coils in water and some dark blue color on the body. No, don't like it really much. <clears throat> so and the last one with new skin is the Griffin. So let's see what it's like. Uh, here we have the normal skins, and this is the new one called. Amor <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous! <laughs> he looks like uh, yeah, a green goblin uh, on on St. Paddy's Day. Yeah, this is just this is a. I mean, this is a war game, uh, and this is neither camouflage nor something serious. This is just ridiculous. Yeah, some some green color looking like goblin. Yeah. Uh, with this, yeah, no, I, I don't like it at all, yeah. So, yeah, it, now you have seen the, the new shape of the Schutze and the five new skins for the five robots just mentioned. Um, perhaps uh, these will come soon to the shop, we'll see. So, let's do the line and setup for the, the fight. Of course, I'll take two versions of Rogatka. One with rockets on it. These will be the orphans on both sides. Um, yeah, I have to put this here. Um, orphans are the strongest rockets in game. Um, but they only have short range of 300 meters, so you'll have to be in fight. But this Rogatka is the smallest medium robot, and um, if it is hit by whatever weapon, um, it is easily destroyed. So you have to be in move all the time, so it doesn't matter what weapons you really put on it. So let's take the, the Orcans on this one. And let's give him, although I don't like it, the new skin. And we'll have another uh, another Rogatka. This time with energy weapons, also for in-fight. So these will be in the Tarans. And let's see what we can do with them. Here we are. Let's give him also the same skin. So the there's, there are no other new bots or something else that has been changed on this test server. I'll take just a line up I like very much. Um, this is gonna be a Leo. 
This is a setup I've seen uh, not very often, but I think it's pretty cool to give him the Ansar shield to be protected against rockets. And as he has three light weapon slots, let's give him some efforts. This is a really badass combination, as he can hide. Um, sh uh, shoot behind, from behind obstacles and is very well protected by that Ansar shield and his health points. Uh, so let's give him also that new paint work. Oh, sorry. Just have to buy it. And what else can we do? I'll take a lineup you'll see very often in the in the game app. And this is has come up some time ago, and nearly all of the lenses have this uh, setup by now. Uh, I don't really like it, but I'll play it for you this time. Uh, it's an Lancelot with an Ansar shield on top and two Tyrants. This is. A quite good combination as the as the Lancelot has a physical shield in front of his body, which protects him from from energy weapons. Uh, in combination with that Ansel on top, um, he's also protected against rockets. So this is a really badass combination. Uh, only weakness is the cooldown of the Tyrants in five seconds. Every five seconds, uh, you'll have to wait uh, for cooldown of weapons, for, and you can't do nothing at all. And last but not least, we'll take a fury just to do some counter sniping. If there are some snipers on the field, this is just a good choice to do some counter sniping and take out the snipers of the other team. So, yeah. This is why I do not put tridents on it, but trebuchets. These have the longer range and can do more harm to furies and carnages. Uh, let's also give him some paint job. This one, these two came with the last update of game. Um, the panda, yeah, looks ridiculous to me, but I do really like the lava. So let's buy this one. So, and let's go to fight. Um, first of all, I'll take this up there. Uh, otherwise, it would be um, at the place where the, the steering wheel would be. So, let's see. Perhaps we have uh, we are lucky and we'll play immediately on the on the new map. This would be fine. Let's see. Yeah, take some time. Hmm. Many people on test server this time. Or less, <laughs> might be. Ah, there it is, immediately perfect. This is the new um, uh, map. Yeah, it's not made for snipers, so we can. Fury is not a good choice, so we'll take the room uh, This is what happens. We have to go in sections to get this box out of sight. So now we can go to work. As you can see, this is uh, it looks like a moon base. And some uh, space is over and it's reminds me of a level. Made for infrared, that's why the theory is not a That 
went pretty bad. Uh, raising energy weapons, uh, as I said, especially three of, uh, three of them in the city. It's really, really Not that bad. Uh, most points on my side, and also more points than the leader of the other team, so I did quite well. Yeah, and that's it, my friends. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if there are some things uh, you would uh, like to remark, please feel free to uh, leave some comments. Um, if there are if there is interest enough, uh, I'll do some further videos uh, from the next test server sessions. 
And yeah, that's all for. Uh, perhaps we'll meet again. Thanks, and bye bye.